Oh, what's going on guys gaming dude back once again with some more informative gaming news and this time it is regarding gotham knights and arkham origins developer wb games montreal but before we begin and get into the video y'all know the routine or at least i hope you do by now if you are new to the channel please make sure you smash that like button and drop me a subscribe because it would just be your good deed of the day same applies if you are a returning viewer now then in this video we're going to be talking about wb games uh, montreal's next proposed video game and the project is supposedly a Superman game. Now, Gotham Knights launched, as you all know, late October. To mixed and middling reviews from critics and fans alike. That being said, the team behind the game, W Games Montreal, have not given up. And they seem to be already hard at work on their next title. Now, whether or not it's going to be set in the Gotham Knights universe or the Arkham Origins universe, I don't know yet. Nobody knows yet. All we know is they're working on a new game. Now, previously, VGC had reported that WB Games Montreal had begun working on their follow-up title to less than stellar Gotham Knights. According to the report, the studio is moving away from Batman to instead work on a Superman game, which is fantastic. We haven't had a Superman game in years, and there was actually supposed to be one set in the Arkham universe, but it was shelved and cancelled, unfortunately. Anyway, um, while we do not actually yet have any official confirmation of such a project from WG. WB Games Montreal, a new update has revealed definitely that the team has started work on their next game. As discovered by M M.O. Pulse, sorry if I'm not pronouncing that right, uh, Brian The Burge, the senior producer at WB Games Montreal, updated their LinkedIn to reveal that as of December 2022, the team have been working on an unannounced project with no other details revealed aside from the fact that uh, the Brit the Burge will reprise their role as senior producer for the title so it, it stands to reason that it, it is probably something to do with the DC universe I mean after all it is WB games so <laughs> it it kind of has to be something in the DC universe what else can they make Warner Brothers games, you know, Warner Brothers are known for DC, so yeah, there's, there's that. But it, it is also worth noting that way back in 2021, another LinkedIn post revealed that WB Games Montreal had been working on a second project alongside Gotham Knights, though it was not known how far into the development this title was. But with Gotham Knights now out, it seems as though work is going full steam ahead on this next project, whatever it may be. It may also indicate why the updates and patch updates for Gotham Knights have seemingly stopped. You know, they, they promised more support for the game, and the updates after the heroic assault just stopped. You know, they, they're not even doing patch updates for bugs anymore. It just stopped. So one can stand to reason that they're kind of finished with Gotham Knights now. You know, they've realized that nobody liked it, so they've just thought, well, screw you, then we're moving on. But um, it would definitely be interesting to see a Superman game because we actually haven't had a Superman game in years. I mean, yeah, he's, he's appeared in various other DC projects, you know, uh, like DC Universe Online, for example. But we haven't actually been able to have a full open world Superman game like the Batman games. And I think it would be a hell of fun, you know, because Batman can, you know, smash through walls and he's he's got his Batmobile to smash through buildings and whatnot, but imagine being Superman, you know, actually having the ability to fly through a skyscraper or fly through a building. That that would just be so dope. And I was talking about this the other day as well. Like, imagine a Flash game as well. We've seen it in Sonic Frontiers. 
they can actually make a speedster-based video game and do it correctly. So a Flash game wouldn't be too far-fetched either. It would definitely work, especially with the upcoming Suicide Squad game, uh, the Kill the Justice League one. We've seen the Flash in that game. And from the trailers that we've seen where the Flash appears and he, he is using his speed, it does look pretty good. I mean, that is in a cutscene. We haven't seen it in the gameplay yet, but I would assume it's done correctly, you know, because you have to be very careful when using speedsters in video games. You know, you've got to account for the frames. You've got to account for the, for the motion blur. You've got to account for a lot of things going on with a speedster. But anyway, I, I'm digressing. What do you guys think to a potential Superman game? You know, the, the last Superman game I played was on the PS2. And I can't remember the name of it exactly, but I remember the plot. You know, it, it was something to do with Inner Gang. And, you know, you had to go to various spots in various missions, take on a bunch of goons. There was some stealth missions that had you playing as Clark Kent. It was actually a really fun game, uh, especially the free mode. I loved flying around as Superman. That was always fun. Uh, but yeah, so the, the, that's just about all I could dig up on this, you know. O obviously, it's not much of a video. But um, I do promise to keep you updated on anything regarding this potential Superman game. I only say potential because it, it is highly likely that with how unsuccessful Gotham Knights was for WB Games Montreal... They're going to want to move away from the Bat family. You know, they're going to want to do something different. You know, some people, myself included, would love to see a sequel to Gotham Knights. But with the negative reviews and bad fan reactions, WB Games Montreal are probably thinking, time to move on. You know, because even Arkham Origins didn't do all that well for them. You know, it's a highly underrated game that most people have forgotten even exist. So, yeah, and as well, it didn't even get to featured in the Arkham Trilogy remaster, so that, that's a shame. But yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think, you know. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, uh, I'd love to hear what you think. Even if you're not a fan of superhero games, you know, or this kind of genre, just let me know in general because... It's a fun concept, you know, because Superman can do a lot of things. You know, there's the heat vision, there's the freeze breath, there's the x-ray vision, there's the flying, there's the strength. There's Superman is a powerhouse, you know, and if it's a full open world style thing like the Arkham games and Gotham Knights, then it should be a real treat, you know, it, sh it should be a lot of fun to play. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to leave it there then. So thank you all once again for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Big year for gaming this year. Stay tuned. There's a lot coming from me. I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. It means a lot to me that you've all been patient with me through my absence and have welcomed me back with open arms to my content. And speaking of, of course, if you are watching in the future and are new to the channel, please make sure you smash that like button and drop me a subscribe because it would just be your good deed of the day. It also lets YouTube know you enjoyed the video and it adds it to the algorithm for other people to enjoy as well. Uh, so yeah, that being said then, this has been GamerDude. Happy gaming and I will catch you all in the next one, guys.